Hey, what's going on there, folks? It is Earthmaster, September 6, 2018, 7.31 p.m. here on the West Coast, and we got another good-sized earthquake coming in to the South America region. You can see it showing up on uh, numerous stations right here around the globe, on the seismograph stations right here. Closest one being the Chile station uh, in South America, and this is coming off of a uh, pretty good-sized earthquake in the Ecuador region, a 6.2 magnitude earthquake. Uh, this followed a 5.0 or 5.6 magnitude earthquake in the Panama region just a short time ago. Um, so a little bit of activity working its way down along this section of the plate here uh, near Peru. And uh, with all the movement going on in the uh, Pacific plate with the deep activity, we're definitely going to be seeing adjustments over here on these uh, opposite plates here. Uh, I don't believe this is going to be the last uh, large earthquake that we're going to see today. I believe that uh, it's possible, I should say, that uh, we're going to see some more. I mean, just a lot of... Look at the look at the one-day magnitudes right here. I'll cover that here in just a second. But I want to do 6.2, show you guys the 6.2 here in Ecuador region. This struck at about 93 kilometers below the surface. Make sure you guys can see what I'm seeing just because my hotkeys have a tendency to short circuit on me. 6.2 it does take a usgs a little bit of time to pick up on this earthquake including the emsc too so that's why i kind of like running the live seismographs uh get a good idea of uh, where the earthquake's taking place i knew it was right around the chile region i just wasn't specific on uh, magnitude or location but the star here indicating the area of interest here with that 6.2 ecuador region here uh, no doubt people definitely felt it it is uh, not super shallow but it's also not super deep 93 kilometers being the depth of the earthquake a um, couple people looks like they're reporting it uh, according to the uh, did you fill it responses here from the USGS site uh, and of course all these areas uh, indicating uh, some light to possibly moderate shaking from the 6.2 earthquake in Ecuador um, so uh, we're continuing to watch this region here for more increased activity as uh, there's just a lot of action going on here uh, around the Pacific Plate here, especially around the Fiji Islands region with um, a, a large amount of earthquakes occurring and really deep as well. Uh, you can see that 7.8 struck there. I did an update video on that just a little bit ago. Uh, it is uploaded onto the channel. Probably will cover this in a little bit more uh, on the update video later on this evening if something else doesn't happen that is uh, that 7.8 struck at about 608 kilometers below the surface pretty good sized earthquake way down there once again and if you look at all the aftershocks uh, these are just 4.5 and above 4.3 and above uh, still way down there lots of activity going on 662 kilometers way down there something big going on um, in this region I like I've said many times it's not unusual to see deeper earthquake activity um, but it's definitely on the increase once again seems like we had a couple days of quietness but uh, uptick appears to be in the process right now and uh, just a heads up I mean California once again up here along the west coast very absent of any kind of earthquake activity obviously we've had some earthquake activity uh, but those are just your typical normal smaller creeper type earthquakes here uh, occurring uh, along the California section here. Hold on, make sure this is working. Looks like the website was kind of down for some reason. I'm getting a little timeout right there, which isn't normal. Uh, but anyway, okay, we'll 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 go back to here in a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you can see a California on the West Coast here, not a whole lot of activity, some micro earthquakes occurring, absent of any moderate to large earthquakes. Uh, as always, uh, you know, I believe every single plate is connected to one way or another, even though it's a, you know, like a cracked egg, right? Uh, if you move a piece of that landmass or apply pressure or release pressure in certain areas, um, you're gonna see ultimately a, a chain effect type scenario. Uh, when it comes to plate tectonics that has been um, you know, taught in schools for a long time. It's, it's just common sense 
and um, that's that's uh, what happens when you have plate tectonics in motion here on the on the Earth. I did want to show you guys the let's see where to go real time trimmer data. This here is a real time detection center showing uh, trimmer movement along the Cascadia subduction zone in the Pacific Northwest and uh, Northern California. A lot of activity occurring along the entire section of the Cascadia subduction zone. Um, not a large mass, but most of it is confined to the west west of Seattle up there in northwest Washington um, along that section there of the uh, subduction known as the Cascadia subduction zone. So uh, we'll cover it a little bit more, folks. Uh, I just don't want to go into too much detail uh, a little bit later on, say around, oh, I don't know, sometime after 10 o'clock tonight, we'll get in and do an update video. Uh, that's 10 o'clock my time. Uh, but once again, a uh, pretty good sized earthquake coming into the Ecuador region. Uh, 6.2 on the Richter scale there. Alright folks, uh, we'll catch you a little bit later. Stay safe out there.